Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and my first video in the new year. I believe that the new year brings not only new beginnings, but also new opportunities and I want to give you some tips to start this new year the best. First, clean your space. I always start by saying goodbye to things that I don't use, clothes that I don't wear, and shoes that don't fit. I organize my closet so that it's easy for me to find what I need when I'm half asleep and getting ready for work early in the morning. My rule of thumb is if I have not worn this in the last year, it goes to charity. I put all in a bag and take it to the clothes collection bin. I scrunch paper and put it in my handbags so that they keep their form. I store them in dust bags on the top of my closet. When it comes to hats, I store them in paper boxes that I received when I got them. If you want to delve deeper, look at your life and think about the people that you spend time with. If there is someone who drains your energy and has no positive impact on your life, say goodbye to them. If you need to keep working relations with this person, set your boundaries and start pushing back from the place of peace and compassion. When I am in a challenging situation, I keep reminding myself of this quote. How people treat you is their karma. How you react is yours. It helps me respond in peace and calm and not to get affected by the emotional state, manipulative, angry or aggressive behavior of the other person. 
Taking several deep breaths before I react helps me as well. Additionally, you can clean your house of negative energy by mixing in a glass one third of salt and two thirds of vinegar. You can fill the rest of the glass with water and leave it in a room. Wait 24 hours before you check the results. If the salt rose to the top, it means that it captured all the negative energy in the place. You can repeat the process in other rooms. Reassess the use of social media. I started taking time off Instagram since I noticed how addicted I was. Instead of focusing on the real world, I was always checking how my posts did. I felt down when I didn't get the number of likes I thought I deserved, was not invited to a particular event, I was comparing my life to perfect images of other bloggers and got anxious when my engagement went down. I started to believe that if I want to make it as a blogger, I have to grow my followers count and be constantly connected. The more time I spent on Instagram, the more anxious and competitive I got. Taking one month off put my life back in perspective. Slowly but surely, I came back to myself. Once I was not hooked anymore, I stopped believing that in order to be successful, I had to be constantly connected. Now I use it to my advantage and not vice versa. When I started blogging seven years ago, I felt happy because I suddenly had a voice. My motivation was to uplift, inspire and motivate others. And that's what I need to remember. So this was my first episode of January series on how to make 2020 your breakout year. What are your New Year's resolutions? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.